Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Welcome back to March. Kind of windy today. Feels a little cool to the uh, to the face, any exposed skin. You guys might recognize this rig. Some of you uh, new folks may not. Um, this is a Kawasaki mule. It's known as a KEF or KAF 450. It used to belong to uh, to Dutchess County at one point. They sold it at auction because um, somebody crashed it. Um, whatever they hit, they obviously hit here. And they damaged the radiator. You could see where they took off the edge of the uh, front bumper. This is the radiator that was in it. And uh, I think it's pretty easy to see that it uh, it has some issues. I bought this from a friend of mine who got it from the guy who bought it at auction. Um, my guess is he got it fairly cheap. I didn't pay too much for it. My buddy bought it in hopes of fixing it up and he discovered fairly quickly um, how expensive the parts are for this thing. I had to replace you know the whole front axle assembly. It wasn't here. I got it. It only had three wheels. I put those tires on it. Um, it had three tires but they were pretty shot so I you could see those are kind of drilled there. So I did that to get it up on all. Um, I replaced the strut and got a tire on there to get it up on, on all uh, four. So it was movable. Um, then what I did is, if you're familiar with these things, they have an integrated motor um, transaxle um, driven by a torque converter. So I pulled all that out and I sold it. Um, one of my uh, subscribers in Wisconsin bought it. So um, that went out to him. And what I did is I put a golf cart rear end in, in it, a simple Predator motor. I built the frame that you kind of see there. And I put in a um, uh, tour converter. I believe that's a Comet. Now, I set it up, and I consider this one of the things that I, I think I did right. You know, whenever you work on stuff, what could I have done better? What could I have, y you know, what could I improve on? I set it up so that the drive chain is on its own frame here. Um, I would consider that something I probably did right. And as a matter of fact, if I set up pivots right there where I'm pointing on both sides and put shocks in the back, I theoretically now have um, back suspension, right? The thing will go up and down. Um, I really don't plan on running this um, as anything but a utility vehicle so I opted out of the suspension um, I'm gonna use the word opted out probably permanently but um, let's just assume if I want to I could get back and put it in there um, you can see I have a little bit of reduction between the torque converter and the rear end. I did not need this thing to go 40 miles per hour. Um, I was I was happy, or I'm happy with it. It goes probably about 15 or 20, which is which is about good enough. Um, and by the way, I would consider this the difference between a good torque converter and a cruddy torque converter. This is just sat out all winter, right? I 
had plastic over it to kind of keep the, the seat dry. There's nothing worse than getting a wet butt from sitting on a seat. But um, it's been out all winter. And I was actually surprised because I wanted to get it fired up because, first of all, it's in the way um, and, it's, and it's a real bear to push. Um, this thing just weighs so much, y you know, it, it, it's probably, even with the, um, everything I cut out of it and then added, it's, it's probably still six, seven hundred pounds, maybe even eight hundred, it just weighs, it weighs a lot. Um, so far I got the gas pedal hooked up. Obviously, I got the engine, and it, it starts, runs, and moves, and we'll take a ride. I got the steering hooked up. It does not have any brakes, and um, that's actually a golf cart, and I'm going to call it a transaxle because it has um, forward and reverse. It's out of a um, Yamaha G6 golf cart, so it's got a golf cart rear end. To put it into reverse... All one has to do is you see this this lever that I'm touching with the uh, wire thing on it. All you have to do is move that back and forth. Right now it's in forward. That's a neutral and that's reverse. What you got to be careful of with these things is um, obviously it would be nice to start it in neutral, but then the torque converter has a tendency to idle along a little bit and then when you put it in gear um, these transmissions aren't are kind of delicate they're not they're not meant to be slammed like that and you could say well you know golf carts run forever but you notice this is a club car but when you go from forward to reverse right that little black lever there it stalls right the engine goes off, then you put it in reverse, and you step on the gas, and it'll go again. So they're not, they're not, the gears aren't meant to be banged, to be crunched, whatever you want to call it. Um, I did, I did start it, you know, it's been a while. So this isn't a cold start. I was kind of surprised. It started fairly easily, and I was really surprised because I forgot the gas on. Um, that's just, um not not too slick so I mean it starts fairly easily how about a ride So far this thing has only been a toy, it's never done any work. This is wide open. Maybe it does 10. I don't think this is 15 or 20. Obviously it doesn't have the greatest turning radius. been a good addition to the horde um, as a toy once again it's never done any work here just quickly 
I'm going to stop on the bottom of this hill and you guys can see it's, I mean, it's not a huge hill, but it's big enough. I mean, just... I guess you can see I have branches down. I like to drive around during the winter or after the winter. I can kind of see all the stuff that's fallen off of my uh, toys. It got cold last night. So not that this is really frozen well, but it's, it's a little firmer. There's the muffler I dropped when I was uh, doing donuts. Just for a laugh, we can do the upper trail. I've been take, trying to take out and ride my uh, toys a little more. You know, I own all this stuff and I like I'm always working on it. And then I find myself rebuilding the carburetors or cleaning the carburetors because I don't ride them often enough. And I kind of get annoyed at myself. I'm like, yo, clown, instead of spending a half hour redoing the carburetor or cleaning the carburetor, if you drove this stupid thing once in a while, you wouldn't have the extra work to do. This is um, a little tight when it comes to the turning radius and they just hung up on that log I think. Just hung up on something. Where something broke. Oh yeah. Wow, got me just right. Here, hang on a second. get out here, clean up some of these trails. Sorry about that, folks. Come on, girl. This is an example. Sorry about this. Have I mentioned I really need to add reverse. Otherwise, it's too much work to drive. Go. We're only gonna do the upper loop. How well am I going to fit? I guess I'm clearing trails. I 
I mean, it's fun to drive. It's like driving a truck. I gotta find a place to land it. I'm gonna work on some uh, improved uh, board parking spaces. I think I can put it here and still squeak by with stuff. Anyway, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. Sorry about getting hung up in a couple of places. Folks, I want you all to keep your heads up, keep your feet down, and get out there and enjoy all your days. Actually, what I should do with this is turn off the fuel, run the carburetor out, and though I got stabilizer in it, I'll get that in a second. Folks, once again, remember to get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.